My name is Marion Harris and I've been married to John for 52 years. We've got quite a good relationship, haven't we? Oh, very sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Marion used to work for the local GP and um, for appointments and things, she, she, she's got them all written down on a calendar so she knows. I'm, I mean, I'm terrible. I, I'll never even think about it once they've been made. And, I mean, I, I couldn't wish for anybody better than that. I, I really couldn't. She prods me along, don't you, to get me, get me going. Shouts at him. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, only occasionally. <laughs> we do share, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, we've been together such a long time. We decided that we got to make the most out of life. You know, we needed to be together because we didn't know how long it was going to be. So it changed the fact that I was now at home all the time, which had not been for donkey's years. And that was hard to get used to, you know, not seeing people every day and and talking to people every day or challenges every day, you know. Um, so that was a bit hard to start with. Sometimes it can be hard work um, because, you know, so, have you taken your tablets? No, I'll take them in a minute. No, take your tablets now. And that I can understand you must get fed up with swallowing tablets and things, but um, and we just support each other, don't we? Because sometimes, you know, I, I can get down, you know, and think I, I can't keep doing this. And But then, you know, you're there, aren't you? So Well, I try to be, yeah. Just, and as I say, we've got fantastic children and grandchildren. And I do have trips to the theatre and things like that, you know. But uh, And I did go to New Zealand last year to see my godson, <laughs> who was just being born. <laughs> And that was lovely. My granddaughter went with me and we got a carer for John. You know, somebody we knew, but she came and stayed with him for three weeks. So I did do that last year and that was fantastic. There's very good support in Nottingham. The carers group is really good. I do know the carers are there if I ever do need, you know, to talk to people. I mean, I think the main thing is that we've found is just to carry on, you know, and I know things have changed a lot and I know things have perhaps even changed more but as far as the cancer goes it's just living with it not dying from it living with it and that's how I feel you know we're both living with this John's not dying from it and that we're going to make every day as normal as possible and just work everything I have to do into a normal day so that it now becomes normal and we can we can carry on like that, you know, it's not, it's not thinking, oh dear, I've got to do his injection. That's going to be part of my evening routine. You know, whereas before I'd make him a cup of coffee, now I'll give him an injection. <laughs> but I think that's the easiest way to cope with it. Just work everything into and make that your routine, make that your normal day rather than what you used to do.